just love the, the format of the long distance races, the way the strategy comes into play. You've got to be quick, of course. You've got to treat the car well to get to the end of the race. We can't push every single lap, otherwise the tyres and the brakes will give up. So we have to help really cross our course throughout the race. The long races and the, the hard fighting all through the race, that's the most fun part. I think patience is a big, a big thing in this type of racing. Um, we all know you can never win a race from the first corner. I've always been a fan of endurance sports car racing. And we have a rolling start, so you don't have at least that, that grid tension where your clutch legs shaking as you're waiting for the lights to change to green. Just that endurance you need, racing in, in darkness when you're tired and you've still got to concentrate. So it's that, that kind of fitness, that endurance, that mental strength that you need. It's the cars, everyone loves these type of cars, they're all the cars that you aspire to, to own on the road, so to be able to race them is, is fantastic. You never feel you're going fast enough until you're into the wall, but you've probably gone too fast. You've got to be very consistent over the long distances. It's a combination exactly of so many elements, so when you put it together, uh, you know you have the perfect package. The first time I ended up upside down, so I didn't really know where I was. And then the, the second time I, I hit the Armco and pulled about 16 G, so I was uh, knocked out and taken to hospital on that one. But the good thing is crashes normally happen so fast, you don't normally have too much time to think about it. And then we're normally quite simple as drivers, so we get back in the car next week and carry on as uh, normal.